he, uh, he, Mark Nabedian, came into my gallery in Ojai and introduced himself, starting with, sometimes I'm flush, sometimes I'm not. He says, my name is Mark Nabedian, and he says, I'm going to buy four of your paintings, collect your work, and I'm going to commission you. And, you know, sounds like music to my ears, who, what artist wouldn't like that? So what did I do? I got an invitation to go see a brand new space he was moving in. 200 foot lo long walls, which was one room. And he said, I want to create a piece that's going to be a huge mural. And it's going to be like the evolution of the oil business. His father had drilled in the mountains, in the local mountains, which at the very moment there will be blood, was coming, just beginning. The, whole, the film was beginning. And he said it was like they filmed his life. This is about those guys that do all the work. So it's a blue collar appeal for these guys that literally put their lives on the line every day. Part of the request when it started was to have uh, the point of environment, the, the evolution of it. And he wanted a, a volcano, <laughs> which I thought, a volcano? Okay, how do you get a volcano in an oil? So I decided, okay, well, I can see that. So I did. I put the shape of a volcano and I put this, this biblical sunset using these colors. Gamlin oil is what I use. Napsaw scarlet uh, and uh, dioxide purples and all these colors that I put together to, to actually depict that, to see this explosion. And the, the sunset became such an exciting thing for me to do that I even put little messages of Zeus over in the corner blowing this powerful wind off into this. People came up to me during the de debut of it and said, did you see the face? And when I did go around places with Mark Nabidi and learning more about the oil business, I was fascinated in just as a geologist, what he shared, you know, the different colors in the mountains and different formations and, and what they meant. And that a pump jack pumps for a hundred years without stopping. And in this case, uh, I didn't realize there were so many pump jacks. These are Lufkin pump jacks. And um, I understand that um, they are, you know, up there on the scale of number ones of pump jacks. And there's all different kinds of Lufkins. I even had roughnecks come in while I was working on it. And I said, so, does this make you feel like this is, this, this is it? Is this, is this showing you in the right light? And that was important to me. And every single one of them said yes. In fact, I had a 90-year-old guy who grew up working in the oil field. Looked kind of like the guy I got over there, the old man that's uh, the narrative, you know, seeing this story evolve. He looked just like him. He was just a little guy. You know, he's just this little guy that just goes, yeah, you know, this looks like what I did for most of my life. And it was fantastic. The mountains were brought together and I used these figures in it because I'm a figurative nude painter and there was only so many straight lines I could deal with after a while because I'm used to curves. <laughs> and it fit in right because of the fact that in the oil business it is about finding those fossil fuel, those deposits that uh, give us our oil. And so I thought this will be great because it'll have such a surreal effect and, and probably make it different than any other piece that I've ever seen that anyone has done on oil uh, painting. They paint oil derricks, they do you know, things like that. But I didn't see anybody doing anything with nudes and mountains and it was perfect because it was a way to model the mountains in a way. You see mountains and there's all these curves and so on and so forth, shapes and that. And I, I, I thought this would be a great way for me to put everything together, what I do, what I like to do, and the message and the subject matter. I thought I could combine it all, and I thought it came out really exciting because there's nothing like this. This is something that gives it a, a, a twist that when people go, oh my god, after 10 minutes or 20 minutes of standing and looking at this, they go, 
those are all bodies. And I go, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. It's very exciting because it, it, it has such a unique um, aspect to this piece, but it has a message as well. Because without people, there would really be no need for oil. <laughs>